Hey, what's up, everybody? Hi, Priestess Nayla Latrice here to give you all your messages. Let's see what spirit has for you, okay? If you clicked onto this video, then there is definitely some type of message that is in here for you. Spirit has guided you and led you to um, to watch this video, okay, to help you um with something that you are currently experiencing, okay? Um, you guys could be experiencing some, some type of conflict. I heard internal conflict. So there's some type of internal conflict, okay? A conflict within yourself that you're feeling, but spirit is moving you forward from that, okay? So this could be self-esteem. This could be confidence, okay? This could be um, you letting go of something or getting over um, not having something that you wanted. Somebody could still be stuck on something that happened, you know, in a previous relationship or connection, you know, um, somebody could still be stuck on something that happened, you know, in high school or, you know, um, somebody could be dealing with some type of addiction. Like I said, there could just be so many different things that are here. I heard alcoholism. Okay. 110 and 111 was on the timer. Okay. But there's some type of conflict that I'm hearing is holding you down. It's holding you back. So there's something that you really, truly need to let go of because I feel like that is why you are still experiencing whatever it is you're experiencing. Even if you're experiencing, it's like you're, you're in a low vibrational situation. If you're in a low lack vibrational environment, it's because there's still, still some type of conflict that you're battling within you and you need to resolve that for your... Um, for your environment, for your circumstances, for you to see a shift in and uh, in what it is that you're what it is that you're desiring. In order to see a shift in what you see, okay, there's still some type of something that you need to remove or something like that, okay. And that is how you're going to be able to move forward. Some of you guys, um, you guys may have just realized this upon watching this video. You may have literally you know, a few days ago or something say, okay, yeah, I realized what that was and maybe you've dealt with it or you're dealing with it. So this is a confirmation for you, okay, that you are on the right path and that you are already moving forward. So some people are already moving forward away from this conflict, but some people, they still need to, um, they still need to be, they, they need to be warned or, you know, be aware that you, that they're still battling, you know, some type of conflict you're still battling some type of conflict inside and until that's resolved your your situation around you is not going to change so you have to figure out what is what it is within you that's continuously reflecting what it is that you don't want to see whether it's the people you know if you're around mean people are you mean somewhat inside and you have to really face that within yourself you know what i mean it's like you could be a mean girl you know but yet you're around mean girls, but maybe it's because you're a mean girl and you're reflecting that out. You get what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so it's pretty much, you know, the quote, as above, so below, you know, um, as within, so without, as the universe, so the soul. So, you know, pay attention to who you are and then you'll see your universe and without change and so forth, your, your below will change. You get what I'm saying? Okay, but like I said, you guys are moving forward from that. Let's see what else is here. Great Spirit, what are the messages are here? Okay, look, baby. The six of wands, you overcome that thing. Even if you're in it right now and you're like, I don't know what internal conflict you're talking about. I'm perfect. Ain't nothing wrong with me. It's all these booger wugs around me or it's the job or whatever the case may be. You're going to figure it out or if it completely ain't you or whatever the case is, whatever this conflict is, whether it's not you, I was told that it was you. It's something internal. It could be a complete ex external problem, but I'm really here to heal you and help you you right okay that's why i'm a healer i've done the healing i've been through the through the shadow work and so forth you know and now i'm in a position to be able to help you to be able to recognize what it is you know uh, through the messages that i'm channeling through my coaching i'm a certified life coach you know all of that type stuff right it's psychology major okay 
all of those things combined okay so definitely you got to work on the internal but no matter what internal external whether it's you or somebody else you can't keep blaming the outside though i'm gonna say that you come out of it you figure it out either way like i said you guys are moving forward we already saw that six six is talks about balancing things out you're moving forward onto the other side is what i'm hearing you're moving on to the other side of conflict you go from the five of wands to the six of wands congratulations baby you did it you got it baby let's go i'm telling you if anybody else gonna hype you up i'm gonna hype you up even if you are in this situation right now, you feeling down, you feeling low, you feeling sad, you feeling depressed about whatever the situation is. I heard money. It could be money. I heard baby daddy. It could be something with your baby's father. Maybe you, you, you know, you doing this thing by yourself, baby. Trust me. I know. Currently, I don't have to, you know, be a single parent, but I've been a single parent I know what it I know what it is. My kids are pretty much self-sufficient and you know it, yeah. I I I am not I, they're they're not with me. They're with their father right now, you know. Um So it's just I get I get the burdens of having children, especially if you have a small child in diapers. You know what I mean? And it's like you're, you're doing this all by yourself, you know, it, 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 it can be it can be hurtful. And, and and but you figure it out. I'm talking to somebody because my babies definitely ain't in no diapers. You feel me? OK, but you win. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. You come up out of that thing. You become successful and you become publicly recognized. So whatever this conflict is, you've been dealing with it in silence. You you know, some people may know, you know, let's say the baby daddy situation. You may be calling, you know, them like, hey, like, can you come help? Or can you, you know, come get your child or your children so I can go to this interview or so I can do this or whatever the case may be. And they like making it difficult, whatever. I'm saying they because it could be their family as well. You know, not just the person or the job is making it difficult so some people may know that you're experiencing some type of conflict but for the most part the deep emotions that you're feeling because of whatever this conflict is that's the internal piece so it could be external people that's involved but you still you still have to learn how to deal with process the the treatment and so forth internally you get what i'm saying and once you learn how to really deal with the conflict internally you know then that's how you're healing and learning to you know allow people to do certain things and go unbothered where it doesn't phase you where you're not you know reacting out here in these streets because you've learned how to deal, you know, people can't get a reaction out of you pretty much. You ain't, you know, when they, when, if somebody says your, your, your baby's father, I'm just going to stick with that example, but apply it how it is for you, job, whatever. They say, no, I ain't coming to get my child. It's like, normally you may be yelling and screaming and so forth. You're like, okay. And you just hang up the phone. You get what I'm saying? It's like, you, you're not yelling and screaming anymore because you've learned how to deal with this conflict. You're not, you're not giving them the reaction anymore, pretty much. You're not giving that boss or those co-workers that want to keep poking a bear in the zoo. You're not giving them the, 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 the reaction they want or, or that sister or that friend or whoever, you know, keeps trying you. You've learned how to, you know, deal and say, you know what? Okay, y'all not going to get the reaction out of me that you, that you came here looking for. But that's why th this is here. You have to learn how to resolve that. That's the key and answer to somebody right there, okay? And now that you've learned how to deal with that, you're moving forward. But like I said, you're going to be raised up publicly. They will see you win in some type of way, okay? They will see you be blessed right in front of their faces. The world may not see it, but they will. They will hear about it. You get what I'm saying? I don't care if you... Let me tell you, I got old jobs calling, people from old jobs calling like, let me change my number. <laughs> Like how you how you get how you even get my how you even fight like how you even the, the lengths that people have had to go through to to even you have to call this person to get the like and you only just tr I'm telling you it be weird out here in these streets like unexpected calls and emails and messages and like 
you know the channels you have to go through to get my information or you know what i'm saying is people are wanting to get in contact with you people they will see you people still thinking about you even if you think they ain't baby they are we got this page of swords that has come out yeah you're starting a brand new spirit is on it oh i feel the holy spirit can we just stop to give god praise <laughs> i promise you 10 11 on the timer god is so good baby god is so good i feel the holy spirit i feel i feel like i'm i'm exactly where i'm supposed to be you get what i'm saying i just feel good i feel great ain't none of no booger woods go bother me on today you feel me yeah anyways you have a new thought pattern is what i heard with this you have a new thought process your thoughts are different you think different your thoughts have been renewed your mindset has been renewed with this page of swords that's what i'm getting here your intellect your logic the way you think the way you process like i said spirit has placed you in certain situations not to you know not for you to cry not for you to be sad not for you to feel lonely not for you to feel heartbreak you know but for you to grow from it for you to be the best that you can be i know it's like dang you had to use the people closest to me but it shows you their true colors because if a person really ain't like that it ain't gonna happen anyways god wouldn't be able to use that person so god are using people that 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 were not really true and real in, in the first place that were around you so it may hurt because you didn't recognize that they weren't real or true but when these when these entities are being used you know it's like oh so y'all actually fell for 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 the okie doke it's like the enemy coming to your to your best friend and your your best friend you know really falling for the okie doke of the enemy and believing everything that they heard about you you supposed to be my best friend though but you believe in an enemy you gonna believe the enemy over my over over you over over me over over, over your best friend it's like, no, nah, I'm straight. So you're realizing that was never your best friend. You going over there with the enemy. Now you are part of the ops. So spirit may have used your, may not have been your best friend. It may have been your baby father. It may have been, you know, a family member. It may have been, you know, co-workers, anybody, what, whoever it was. Whatever the situation, landlords, and maybe it was a housing situation. You get what I'm saying? Whatever the situation was, you are you have to learn to deal with certain conflict because where you're going, you're of a high status. The person I'm talking to, the people I'm talking to, you're of a high status. You're going places, baby. These other people are not. They're just being used as pawns to track you, um, to stop you, to track you and to stop you from getting to their higher places, kind of like Mario, you know, or the, the video games, right? So you got to pass certain tests. So that's all they're there for, right? But it's like they can't go with where you're going. So they're trying to stop you. That is their sole mission, their sole job, right? But the thing is where you're going, the level where you're going, the type of people that you will be having to deal with, you know what I mean? Maybe um, uh, people that are in the spotlight or whatever it is that you really are doing for your career or, you know, you you owning a business. A lot of times if you're a business owner, you know what I mean? It's, you're, you're going through a lot of different uh, situations because you're going to have to deal with a lot of different type of personalities. So spirit wants your business and your money to be sustainable sustainable so spirit will take you through some personal things that may have nothing to do with your business but it's preparing your personality it's preparing your character so you really know who you are so you're really confident within yourself as a person so your business so your purpose can stand and last a lifetime because you're confident in who you are as a person as a human being and can't nothing shake you you get what I'm saying? So many of you guys are business owners and you got you guys have big dreams, you know, and you're going to higher heights. And you're going to have to learn how to deal with different types of levels of conflicts, different levels, different devils. So you're at a personal level right now. So you can so it can build you up. So that's why you're dealing with conflict. But like I said, they will see your victory, whether it's through the business that you build or whatever. Do you, your name is going down in history. You're still writing your story. You're only in today, baby. You still got tomorrow. You still got next week. You still got next month. You still got the end of this, the, the rest of this year, next year, 10 years from now. You still have time. 
but you need to get on whatever you're getting on now. You're dealing with this now. Thank God you're dealing with it now because you ain't never going to have to deal with it no more. And then you can move on from this and, and start shifting your focus. Deal with this conflict. When, beat this conflict, whatever it is, let it go, okay? And again, for some of you, the conflict is not even other people. It could be something within yourself. It could be, you know, exercising. It could be food that you need to switch your diet up. You know, it could be, you know, something just internal emotions you got to deal with. Everybody's conflicts are completely different. It could be, like I said, a habits or addictions, things of that nature. Like I said earlier, I heard alcoholism. Okay. Or any, it, could, it doesn't have to be alcohol. It could be anything that you do too much. Nicotine, cigarettes, tobacco, all of that. You know what I mean? Like purifying your body. But it's shifting you to have a brand new thought pattern because it's the brand new thought pattern that's going to change your emotions and your emotions is what's going to bring in a new environment. Yeah, thinking of a long-term plan. You're thinking of a long-term plan here. Creating a long-term plan. This conflict is just right now. Yes, you're going to have conflicts in your life and so forth. You know, this isn't going to be the last conflict. But to make you whole, you know what I mean? It's like you have... To make you whole, you're dealing with these conflicts right now because it's still you're still doing, you know, some type of work within you. But conflicts that you may be dealing with later, you know, it's just going to be whatever comes up in business or whatever just you're you're gonna know how to deal with it. it's not gonna affect you because you you've learned how to deal with the conflict right now you're learning how to deal with conflict conflict is always going to be around but you've had to learn how to deal with conflict you get what i'm saying it's not the conflict is going to cease this is you learning how to deal with the conflict so you're not losing your cool your temper so you're not so people don't see you act in a certain way or whatever the case may be. So when you get to a certain level and conflict hits, you, you handle it gracefully, maturely. You get what I'm saying? The chariot here. Again, you're moving forward. And with the quickness, this whatever this problem is, okay, is going to be resolved very quickly. Even if it's financial, it's going to be resolved very quickly. It's like there's some type of new idea that is flowing to you, okay, that you need to start on, okay? Many of you guys are high priestess here, okay? You guys are in a position to, to reach back and help others, okay? You guys have that knowledge. Follow your intuition. Trust your intuition. Many of you are not meant to have a lot of people around you. I know it's people around me, and I'm like, God, why did I pray for people? <laughs> when you be by yourself, you pray for people and then people come around. It's like, you know what? I'd rather be by myself. <laughs> I'd rather be by myself. Not like that, you know, of course, you know, but people be peopling. People be peopling. And you, it, 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 it's just, yeah, people be peopling. So we got the cherry here, though. But like I said, you're definitely moving forward. And with the two of wands that I saw as well at the bottom, you have to make the choice to move forward. You have to say, I want to move forward. I want to work on. I want to be better. Some of you guys, your conflict could be a car. You guys could be dealing with car issues as well. You know what I mean? Um, maybe it's not starting or you just it's you need to get something fixed and you don't have the finances for it and so forth that could be something as well with this chariot falling under um under this uh five of wands as well but you will get it fixed there will be a great outcome for it and that's the truth here i'm speaking truth of course you know nayla reads truth okay um definitely speak your truth here speak your truth Absolutely. You're this queen. I was going to say queen of wands intuitively um, is where it's like you got a fire that's within you that needs to come out. But this queen of, um, of pentacles here, we have cancer is the main energy that's out here. Okay. And then we have fire energy and swords energy here. Okay. Is what we have out here on the table. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Okay, um, major arcana, cancer here. And then the other two is the five and six of wands. Okay, which is uh, um, uh, Leo, Sag, or Aries. Okay. But you will find a solid solution. Focus, be solutions-based. 
Focus on the solution, okay? Be solutions focused. Look, we got the queen of wands. Balance out your emotions. You're learning to balance your emotions, which is going to balance your stability. Balance the type of people that come into your life. Setting boundaries, okay? Being strict with your boundaries. Loving on yourself enough. Tell your truth. Speak your truth. Some of you guys are speakers and will be speaking on a platform. You guys have speaking engagements. This talks about public recognition. This talks about being on stage here. You know, people seeing you. You know, you, um, you again, uh, it's like that public recognition with this here. It's like you guys speak in front of crowds. You guys could be teachers or something like that as well. You're speaking in front of the classroom. You guys do presentations or things like that. There's something, this is about speaking your truth, sharing your truth. You guys could be sharing your story like on podcasts and things like that maybe you guys need to start a podcast and share your story and promote that as well here okay you guys have dealt with a lot of people playing games a lot of people trying to steal money from you take from you you know thinking that they could get over on you okay but again you that's the truth you need to speak you need to share the stories if they coming out and you know it's time you may need to expose some people you may need to be the whistleblower you know what i mean it's like over your life you know people want you to keep things a secret that it's like no you need to speak on it or at least tell your side, your truth of, of, it's your story. Don't be afraid to tell your story. Some people are embarrassed of what they have went through because of what other people go say. Fuck other people. They ain't had to go through what you went through. They wasn't what you shooting in the gym. So what the hell they opinion matter for? I'm just saying. Speak your truth. Speak your truth. Tell people, it's not, you it, You ain't got to speak your truth to those people, so to speak. You know what I mean? It's like you can share your story on platforms. You guys are speakers. So if you guys are a speaker, your, your, top, your speaking topic is your story. Or maybe that's what you do. You go to, around to different, you know, organizations and you speak your truth or you share your story or something like that. I don't know. Look, I split the deck and we got the emperor here. This could have been a husband that you dealt with that was backhanded as well for some of you all. But also take control over your life by speaking up, by speaking your truth. Even if you're in the line at a store and someone, you know, tries to do something, that's spirit saying, are you going to, you know, do you know how to speak up? You can speak with grace and so forth, but it's about speaking up and saying something in the first place. You don't have to, you know, um, uh, uh, bark, you know, uh, 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 entertain every dog that barks at you. But at the same time, you know, you also have to make sure that you know within yourself that you're not afraid to speak up. You get what I'm saying? So there may be the smallest situations, a coworker, something like that, that keeps bothering you. You got to speak up and say something. Because if you don't, it's going to be somebody in, in the grocery store line or it's going to be somebody in traffic. So once you've learned how to speak up for yourself, then those type of lessons will go away because you've mastered the art of speaking up and using your throat chakra. Some of you guys may need to get a Reiki, okay, to help open up your throat chakra as well. You guys need to get rooted and protected and so forth know that you are safe okay that way you feel comfortable enough to speak out and use your throat chakra okay so and use your voice and speak your truth okay you guys can go ahead and book your reiki sessions down below in the description bar okay Ooh, we look at the combination we have here so i was looking at the bottom i see the sun so i'm like okay yes you're gonna be at the end of the day this read is to help give you answers it sounds like it sounds like there's a lot of answers here for a lot of people that's going to clear a lot of things up for you or give you the ability to you know get over something or push past something and that's great i love that you know um so i see the sun here healing you guys are healing you guys are you know once you guys are ready to help other people then you know that you have healed you get what i'm saying a lot of people they're they're still healing while they're helping other people you get what I'm saying? Um, but once you are, have truly dealt with your conflicts and you're truly in a position of power, you know it's time for you to really give back and help back once you put yourself in a certain position, okay? But we have the sun healed, healing. So I moved this 
and then there's the emperor. I just split the deck and said we saw the emperor and said it could have been some conflict, but now we have the emperor with the sun. So when I originally did first see the emperor, I was like, okay, what's the emperor doing here? Is this uh, somebody new or what? To, to, this is somebody new that will definitely be coming into your energy with this page of cups behind it here. So even if you guys did have conflict with the marriage previously and you guys are divorced and so forth, you guys, some of you guys um, that want to be remarried or whatever, you guys will definitely be getting remarried or somebody wants to be your emperor or wants to be the man in your life here with this emperor, okay? I'm not going too deep. This isn't a love reading, you know? Um, look, it wanted to, it, it wants to come out. The emperor is here, baby. The emperor says, you better not put me back in that deck. So I'm going, this emperor is watching you. That's the truth. Okay. Yeah, this emperor sees you. This emperor knows. They may not know what you've gone through, but they can see it in your essence of who you are that you've experienced a lot. You get what I'm saying? Great spirit. What other message you have here for us? Any other messages here to close out this read? Okay. This uh, emperor. Oh, this emperor could be an Aries because we have this Aries energy here. Okay. And Leo. Like I said, a lot of fire energy here with this Aries. With this Aries energy here. With this emperor and with this Leo. I told y'all. It's a lot of fire and air energy. And here's more air. So you're definitely dealing with the air sign or a fire sign. Or either your air or fire sign watching. Or the only other energy here is cancer energy here. Okay? But for sure with this um, with this king of swords. Okay? It's like really... Um, uh, this this emperor could be really thinking about you. You need to be logical about some type of job or how you take control over your life or something like that. The way you're thinking, okay? Paying, you know, paying attention to how you're communicating, communicating clearly. This emperor may want to communicate. This If this isn't a person, this, could, this emperor could be a job as well, an institution or something like that. But I definitely feel like this could definitely be um, a person that is thinking about you, how to approach you. They're in their head, okay? Somebody may want to communicate with you. But overall, this is you taking control over, over, over your thoughts. You taking control over how you think. Because by you doing that, again, it's all falling under this page energy here, okay, of those new thoughts. You're trying to create a whole new life for yourself. Not trying, you are creating a whole new life because you're actively a part of your own life, right? You're actively doing the work. You wake up and you look yourself in the mirror, right? Okay, you wake up, you do your affirmations, right? Or you do your meditations, right? Or you go out and you, you know, you you uh, you uh talk to the universe. You know what I mean? It's like you talk to the suns. You go outside and listen to the birds in the morning and chirp with them. You get what I'm saying? You you really trying to, you know, be on your, your peace uh, on the level, a certain level of peace, a certain, you know, level of success in your life. So you're doing the work, right? You're not just watching reads and then just, oh, let me hurry up and get to work or let me hurry up and turn this off and get to my kids or get to my day. You're actually doing the work. You're journaling, right? You're setting your prayers and intentions, right? Because just watching a read ain't going to work. Just getting the hearing the word ain't going to work. You got to hear it and put stuff, things in action, baby. You have to take control. I'm going to leave the read here because it's already longer than what I expected. But yes, you guys, uh, uh, comment down below how this message has resonated with you guys. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Y'all go ahead and check out Ambition, okay? Um, it is my, aca my acapella hip-hop track that I have released down below. Definitely a whole lot more where that has come from, baby. That is just of the iceberg okay so y'all go ahead and support that y'all can watch it the video here on youtube or on soundcloud okay y'all can book your personal readings in the description bar and i will see y'all in the next one i am nayla latrice peace